and where Pulse is joined by Fanatics Man in the middle. Thank you very much, Pyro and Rich Pulse Camp, and I am joined, of course, here by Febervin after his victory. Now, Febervin, the champion select, you guys all got your comfort picks. Did everything go as planned as champion select? Uh, yeah, we basically got every OP champion we, we play, and our comp was super strong compared to theirs, so we just had to farm up, and then we would win the team fights. Yeah, you looked super convincing in that game. Now, something that everyone is going to want to know, how did your mid lane matchup go against the Echo? Froggen picked it very early into Champion Select. How do you think the matchup is? Uh, I actually never played this matchup because the champ is just out and it's getting banned a lot in solo queue. So I don't have a lot of practice against Echo, but I just told myself to farm up and then I knew how, Azir, how strong Azir would be like in late game, mid game. So yeah, Echo is... It's pretty strong, I think, his laning phase, because his shield is pretty broken, but next patch is going to get nerfed, so I think he's pretty overrated. Well, your mid game was very solid, but uh, there was a Baron that was able to be sneaked. It didn't seem like it mattered at all to you. What was going through your mind once you saw the Baron go over to Elements? Uh, we had no vision on Baron, and I think they got it because they used uh, the spell of Bard, I'm not sure. Yeah, we just, we just should have had the vision on that, but unfortunately... Just didn't work out. But either way, you brought it home. And now that means you're five and zero. Is there anyone who can take you down? You look incredibly convincing. Out of all the people that you have left to play, do you think anyone can even upset you? Uh, I think there are still teams who can upset us because we're still making a lot of mistakes. But we're getting better and better every week. So it's going to be really hard for the other teams to uh, beat us. Well, fantastic. Congratulations once again on your win and for taking the time to talk to me. Now we're going to shoot it over to the analyst desk to break down that game in more detail. Thank you so much, Pulse. And he was fishing, Pulse, but Febervin didn't say it might be Origin. And well, good on him. He doesn't want to check it out. But that is a matchup that is on the books for next week. Fnatic versus Origin. Definitely got our eyes on that one as well. Um, something else Febervin said in the interview. Yeah, I was quite confident in our comp. We knew we were stronger, so, you know, easy. But that didn't seem that way when we saw the picks come out, especially with that echo. Well, first and foremost, I was super excited to see every single one of the last five champions that's been released in one game. I was even more excited to see Bard and Callista and Echo, because that's what we were talking about mm -hmm. before Crepo broke Echo down. And I was excited to see Elements playing aggressively. I'm still not a massive fan of the team comp because a lot of the champions needed time to scale, but they played around the champion strength very well. They were a lot more decisive in game than we've seen in previous weeks. So for Elements, there's a lot of positivity to take from this particular matchup. For Fnatic, they got old comfort picks and they simply did what Fnatic does best. Find fights, find kills and win the game. Yeah, they did. Uh, as you said, though, good things coming out of Elements. And uh, Dexter, in the interview with you last week, said we got to go back to basics. Yet they pick a comp that is uh, or is in need of a lot of good communication, a lot of good coordination. And it did show that they had control over that, especially in some of the combos we saw early game. Yeah, they really did. I want to talk about one replay, if we can pull that up really quickly. It's a mid lane dive that Froggen starts off. Take a look at the mini map, and you can see that both Dexter um, as well as Promiscu are moving their way to the lane. So, Froggen uses the parallel convergence, his W to zone Febervin towards the tower. And because of the Bard ultimate, the Tempered Fate, keeping Froggen in place for such a long time, he can actually use the Chrono Break offensively. And that's something that is very difficult to set up. It looked like it was going to go a bit sketchy, but Froggen and the rest of the team end up pulling off uh, what turned out to be a very successful tower dive. Yeah, definitely. After that, though, Fnatic is racking up that gold advantage. And although we can see the gold advantage, at some points it didn't really feel that close. It didn't feel... Uh, sorry, as far apart. I, I was going <laughs> to say, it certainly felt closer yeah. than, uh, than I think uh, Fnatic were, would have liked at that comfortable point. But uh, honestly, Elements looked better as a unit, as you saw. You saw the play there. Uh, just in general, in team fights, it was getting better, but Fnatic team fights so, so well when it comes to things. So uh, we've got another replay, actually, that we wanted to take a look at, and it was another one of the fights, this time in the jungle. Uh, interestingly, Senkux, the player that played in uh, Challenger Series Echo earlier this week, tweeted that of just how difficult it is to get an offensive chrono break out. This time, Froggen does manage to get some damage down and get himself out of that fight, so uh, Credit to Froggen on being able to get that down. But you can see that Fnatic, after what looked a bit of a sketchy start to that fight, kind of managed to come away with it a little bit better off than they should have. But honestly, both teams coming out of that one with uh, a, a fair amount of, of uh, uh, presence when it comes to their team fighting prowess. Yeah, and also just think on the side of elements, such a difficult team comp to pull off. 
with the champions that they've got. Fizz wants to flank, Echo wants to be everywhere. Bard, the timing on that Tempered Fate. There's so many unique mechanics that you don't see in many other champions that is very difficult to balance. And I think that's part of the reason elements were a little sketchy at times in some of those team fights. But it was good to see them playing. It was good to see them playing positively and, and aggressively. Yeah, definitely. Going back to basically saying that the caster curse that we sometimes talk about, that we talk about players, they doing good, then they do bad. Froggen actually did a really good job on the Echo and, and at some points definitely showing his mechanical prowess. But we have to know if elements will be able to translate that into their picks that they go into the next weeks, you definitely want to see some less scaling coming out still. Yes, I really want to. <laughs> I just keep thinking to myself, what if Froggen had played a different early game champion, had the same sort of impact? Yes, Echo can be great, but it's so difficult to set him up, right? So I still think there's something that needs to be discussed. At the end of the day, elements, they've got their own coaching stuff, they've got their own team decisions to make. But it's something that, you know, you hear Dexter, let's go back to basics, go to foundations. And then they run Bard, Smite, Fizz, <laughs> and, and Echoes. Like, well, I don't know what foundations mean to elements, but it might be something different to the rest of the world. Yeah, not yet another victory, but things are looking up. Now, we're going to take a quick break in a second as the Copenhagen Wolves set up to face Gambit, who are still looking for their very first victory of the summer. And at me, our boys, thinks today could be today. He writes, I don't see anything coming back beside Gambit. Once they had adjusted to Forgiven, they might actually start stomping. Well, only time will tell, as Echo would say. So don't touch that browser. We'll be back here in three and a half. Wait, should, should we pick this right? Yeah, we should. I Can guess. we Instalog? Echo, please. Fight's not over then, yo. Yeah, but you know what? Huni double kill. Spot him. Shadows double kill for Huni as Dexter goes low. As Huni comes in with a teleport, JWoww is going to follow. Huni stunned. Chum the water's on. Dashes away. Right back into Froggen as Febbivit picks off Dexter. On me, on me. This thing. Hey, Echo, 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 Vain. Echo, on board. Echo, on board. Echo, on board. Echo, on board. Echo, Echo. Echo. Here, look, look, look. Stay, stay together, stay yeah, together. Thank you, everyone. Nice, nice. Poking away at Rainover, who just is going to be able to get out and back and reset the fight. Dexter falls down. Reckless picks him up. Unslot of Shadows and Tabs is down. Fnatic still undefeated in the LCS summer.